and I've learned in the US the nuances of race. When I first went, I didn't quite get it because again, you know, Nigeria has many problems, but, but the idea of identity being based on skin color just doesn't exist. And, and not even that, because I, I often say that it's not, the problem isn't the skin, which, you know, I adore and find glorious. But the problem is other people's um, stereotypes that they've attached to it. And so when I went to the US, for example, I remember being in a class, um, and it was an English class, and it was the first paper we had written. And the professor came back in and said, who is Adichie? The, the, the uh, Americans find it very difficult to pronounce my last name, Adichie. And so when I raised my hand, he said, this is the best paper that I've read. And he said, who is this? And I raised my hand, and he looked surprised. And it was a very small, fleeting moment. <coughs> But I remember at that moment thinking, and I'll never forget it, because I remember thinking, this is what race means in America. He doesn't expect the person who wrote the best paper to be black. And having come from Nigeria, where, you know, in Nigeria, each morning we, we, take a, we, we have a glass of, of um, arrogant pride for breakfast. <laughs> and so <laughs> I remember thinking, how can he be surprised? <laughs> how dare he? But <laughs> I think there might be a Nigerian. <laughs> yep. You know what we're like. You know, like. Yes, we're all brilliant. But, but, you know, and it became a learning experience yeah. for me. And also, there's a sense in which I wanted Ifemelu's journey to mirror that, because a lot of what she experiences, I experienced as well. I mean, I, I dramatize things a bit in, in, the, in the book, but, you know, that idea that you then want to separate yourself from it because you know it's negative. So for, a, for my first year in the US, I didn't want to be black. I didn't go to the Black Students' Union. So I was like, no, I'm not black, I'm Nigerian. Mm -hmm. And, and I, I realize now, looking back, that even that is an indictment of American racism. Yeah. It was my way of, it, you know, if being black in America were benign, I would not have had that, that um, that reaction. And then I started reading. I mean, and reading is just really my life's greatest consolation. And I read American history, I read African American history in particular, and suddenly my eyes were open. I just thought, my God, these things happened so recently, and this country seems, at least on the surface, not to be burning up. I mean, I, mean, I think the, Im the unimaginable injustices that African Americans have experienced mm. at the hands of um, the American state is something that I think hasn't really even, the story hasn't been told fully. Yes. What is the biggest misconception of black culture? So what do you think are the main challenges of being a black woman? Are you ready for this response? I think if you're talking about um, 